This episode is brought to you by CBD TV, your one-stop shop for all your CBD needs. Use code FRESHOUT to get 15% off your next order. What's up everybody? Big Herc 916 You tune into another edition of Fresh Out. Thank you for subscribing, thanks for supporting. I have here with my man, Michael from CBD TV, doing big things. This guy did almost three decades in prison, two and a half decades, man. A long time, more than most of you guys have been alive. And uh, he's made millions. You know, a lot of guys tell war stories about going to the shoe and who they shanked and all this stuff. Nah, man, it's about what you're doing now. This guy's out here getting paper. He's getting paid. And uh, he has a story, man, that is so mind blowing that a lot of you guys who have college education should sit down and take notes. But uh, <laughs> he took his time and made millions, turned around and invested 1.4 into an investment and <laughs> Things, you know, have a tendency sometimes to go sideways and got sued for 140 million. Crazy story. Crazy. When he told me about it, I was blown away. I'm like, dude, you got to you got to tell this story how 1.4 million got you sued for 140. And uh, you guys, uh, you know, peep this out, man. Mike, tell these people, man, about what you told me about that story, man. I think it's amazing that you have been able to accomplish what you have accomplished. But on top of it, man, you were out here legitimately putting down investments and turn around and got caught up in some, some bull, man. Well, I mean, I, 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 I want to say that these are some of the consequences, the collateral consequences of being in prison for a long time. And it, you can never really get away from that, no matter how successful you become. So I got out of prison, as I told you in, in our first video, uh, about, I got out in 2012, I transitioned from the federal prison to a halfway house and I'd set this goal of, of going out to make my first million within five years. But because of the real estate deals that I had done, I'd controlled a lot more than a million within five years. In fact, by 2018, which was five years that I'd come out, I'd already had three million in real estate and about maybe two million in equity. So mm. I, the, the property values, that plan had worked out where property values increased, debt values reduced. So I'd already made about two million bucks in equity at that time. And one of the guys that I met while I was in prison, my last nine or 10 months, his name is Andy. We met together inside of that federal prison in, in Atwater and from my perspective, he was an extraordinarily successful guy. He started a business in his dorm room when he was at the University of Maryland and built that business into a venture that, that he eventually sold to Bear Stearns for $140 million. Mm. So I used to meet these kinds of people when I was in prison. That's what prison professors, is, part of it is about, is I would interview guys, I'd write their stories, and I would use this to teach other people how to make business decisions, but avoid problems with the criminal justice system. Mm -hmm. So I interviewed guys in prison. His was one of the people that I interviewed and I wrote his story. So I learned all about his venture that led him to be really successful. And he ended up getting sued by the Federal Trade Commission for, as I think it was 170 million back in 2005. Mm. 170 million, Damn. civilly. So he settles with them for like 50 million in assets and cash that he had just to walk away. And when he told me the story in prison, I really believed that, you know, it was, he was done. You know, when you're in prison and you're getting out, all you are is optimistic about That's the right. life that you're going to build. And this had happened 10 years previously. So he went to prison many years later. And one thing that the government didn't get from him was this, massive development in Belize. It was 14,000 acres on the ocean mm. that he bought when he was super rich. And after he lost everything, he turned this into a massive development. And to give you some perspective, Big Herc, of how big 14,000 acres is, it's the size of Manhattan Damn. in New York. That's how big it is. And he took this de property development, and I, and I was interviewing him in prison. He carved Venetian canals in there, put a beautiful marina in there, beach club, restaurants, and then he would, people would buy land and build their homes on it. 
So he had told me this story when I was still living in San Francisco, mm -hmm. that he'd built this business and he wanted me to come work with him. But I was already teaching at San Francisco State University and that's where I taught for my first year. But I was, I was new in the world. I'd been in jail for a quarter century and there was a lot I needed to learn. And he said, look, if you come down to Newport Beach, you can work in my company, you can tap into our marketing department, you can tap into um, all of the people that work here and learn as much as you want and build your business. So I went down there, I started doing this, um, and I, now I got to see this project. It's one thing to hear about it. It was another thing to see 100 people working there and then knowing that there were 200 other people working in Belize, and they said, wow, you really did build an amazing business. That's all I saw. But simultaneously, I'm building my real estate venture. Come now January, one of my deals I had exited, I'd sold one and I had some cash, and he knew I had some cash, so he called me in 2018 he said, look, I'm going to build some more projects in Costa Rica, Bahamas, Cabo San Lucas, Dominican Republic. He said, why don't you come on and be head of business development? And I said, what do you want me to do? He said, I'm going to build a billion dollar company. I want you to be a part of it. I think you can do really well. You can help me raise capital. That's what you do. And I said, well, I would only raise capital if I'm going to put my own money into it. You know? So I said, and I've never seen the place. So he said, why don't you fly down to Belize and check it out? So I go to Belize and I saw the most beautiful project. It looked like Jurassic Park. It was, mm. I mean, I've been in jail, right? Yeah. So I'm looking at this lush gardens and these canals and the marina, and it's so beautiful. And I had an idea, I'm gonna build an Airbnb business down here. So I, you know, I had some cash. And so I told him, I said, look, if you finance me on the property, I'll build houses here and then build an Airbnb business. This is an 18. He said, yeah, you can do that if you want to. But if you really wanna make some money, you got to come with me to Costa Rica, brand new development. And you can be a piece of the entire project. So when the Marriott comes down and leases land and puts up a hotel, you'll own a piece of that. And I said, huh. I said, could I build that around my brand? And he said, what's your brand? I said, I want to build a brand prison to paradise and show people who don't know how to invest if I could come out of jail with a zero, zero, zero credit score and build millions of dollars of assets in the United States and build something in overseas, I can teach other people how to do the same thing, but I wanna document everything. So I'm gonna make videos, I'm gonna interview, I'm gonna create this whole thing. And I said, and I'll put up my own money. He said, how much money can you put up? I said, and this was in the, the spring of 2018. I said, you know, I got half a million right now in cash. I could raise a little more money. You know, maybe I could put, sell a property. I could probably put a million up. He said, if you can put a million up, you can do the deal. Mm. So I start working, you know, and I start doing my thing and documenting videos and they're all on the prison professor's website. I mean, this is all documented. And by the end of the day, I raise a million four in cash and then I get friends that I built through the prison professor's channel and family to put up another two million. So I put up three point, it was three point, I think 3.35 million in total. One four was mine. So I'm the biggest investor in this project. I'm super excited. I'm gonna turn this million four into 15 million bucks within seven, eight years. I'm totally convinced of it. And I'm making videos, I'm doing everything Herc. <laughs> and I gave him the check on July 31st, 2018. We never even bought the property, it's sitting in the bank. Two months later, the FTC goes back and sues him, saying that he'd misrepresented on his deal 10 years before. And they, when they so sued him, they froze my money too. Mm. It was in the bank. And I was like, oh my God, I just, I got a million four. Now a million four was only part of my assets. I had three million more in assets in the United States. Uh, houses, these single family homes that I'd been accumulating. So I called the lawyer. The lawyer said, well, the only way you're going to get that money back is if you sue them. Well, when I sued them, the FTC grew livid. They found out, oh, this guy was in prison. He was in prison with this developer. He either knew or he should have known what was going on. And they in turn sued me. Now I wasn't only my million four oh, at man. risk, but the three million in assets was also at risk. And I was litigating because I said, I, didn't, I, I never got a commission. I didn't sell anything. Nobody, I had no control over that company. I'm just an investor. And they said, that's litigation, buddy. You want to fight us? Fight us. And so mm. I fought them and they were suing me for 140 million. I was planning to go all the distance, but some other lawyers told me, I said, look, this is a civil case right now, $140 million. I said, how are you gonna build your career? I said, I won't have any problem building a career. 
people will hire me because of what I do. I can overcome this. And they said, well, if you have $140 million judgment against you, regardless of what you do, the government will take it from you. I said, well, fine, I'll put it in my sister's name. I'll have her own a company and she can start. And they said, well, if you do that, then you're, store, you're establishing what are called straw man companies. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna expose your sister to depositions. And if, you're, if your sister can't do what you do, then it, it, it could potentially turn criminal. And I said, well, I can't draw anybody else into my problems. And so I said, you know, I'll settle. They said, well, you're, to settle, you gotta walk away from five million in assets. Uh, the, including the million four in cash and all of your California real estate. And I said, you know what, I, 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 that, that, that won't stop me. You can't stop a strong mindset. And I, so I settled with them for five million and came right back at it, bro, and building it again. <laughs> Damn, man, that's crazy. That's the journey of being in prison for 26 years, yeah, right? Yeah. That's the complication. It, it, you can, no matter how successful you become, you're a very easy target for litigation. Yeah. And, yeah. and so, you know, you learn lessons and, you know, that doesn't stop me. I'm creating courses right now with prison professors. I'm creating business development opportunities. That's right. And um, I'm, I, I, I have all the confidence in the world that I'll turn all of these stories and these lessons into helping more people understand if this guy can go through quarter century in prison, if this guy can come back and, and build those kinds of businesses, and I, I, we can learn from them as well. And so that's what really it, it, life is about, is about helping more people reach their highest potential. That's what I had to learn how to do while I was uh, climbing through 9,500 days in prison. Wow. And uh, it, 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 every day I had a high level of energy and discipline in there. And that's the reason that I can open opportunities and show other people how they can do it themselves. Well, that just goes to show that, you know, no matter what you've been through, I mean, having gone through, you know, two and a half decades and then to turn around and have to deal with a litigation at that level and 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 then, you know, rebound from that. I mean, dude, it just shows your 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 resolve. I mean, you know, that, that that's a level of success that. If you can share that and teach other people that, man, it's invaluable. You know, I've had some rough bouts, but man, overcoming that type of debt, man, and still, like you say, keeping a positive attitude, knowing that opportunities are endless, that's what a lot of people need to hear because a lot of people are dealing with really dark times and they don't really understand once they, you know, hit a rough spot, how to come back from that. And you, you've shown that. So I think, you know, I, I don't think I know that with the courses that we're gonna be putting together, with people being able to um, take part in these opportunities, it's gonna change a lot of lives. It's about showing people how to create their own opportunities. And I've seen you are a master of that. You may not wanna give yourself credit for it, but the, the facts are the facts. And anybody can look at your YouTube subscriber base and see that you've effectively built a media company. You've built a media empire that uh, people with Harvard degrees don't know how to build. And you know, I give a lot of credit to what you, you, what you are doing. And that's where I really wanna support the Fresh Out University project because I do believe in this era of a pandemic, in this era of 50 million people being unemployed, in this era of social unrest, you know, not only the people that I serve through prison professors inside of the institutions, but I believe people out here, um, you know, many of them are in a bigger prison than you or I were ever in that's right. just because of their mindset. We can teach them how to crack that and advance either building their own businesses, just like I'm doing with, 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 with CBD TV, mm -hmm. but also with prison professors, just like you've done with Fresh Out. I mean, you're building a university and a university isn't defined by big buildings and high tuition. It's defined by showing other people how to reach their highest potential. That's right, that's right. Hey, I look forward to working with you, man. I know some big things in the works. You guys, make sure you, you, you hit the link in the description. Look forward to our courses that we're gonna be sharing with you guys. We're gonna be making a lot of major moves here. So stay tuned, subscribe, support. Hey, man, Michael with CBD TV, Big Herc, fresh out. Thank <laughs> you.